to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. centers and strike at their heart. To that effect, we're moving in to take out a high-profile target that will get plenty of people's attention, especially Advent. Move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces nearby. Hey guys, welcome to XCOM 2. I hope you enjoyed that intro video because I actually hadn't watched that yet. Um, as you can see, these are some of my custom characters I've made so far. Um, um, one of them was actually a soldier in my last playthrough I played. It only went for like six hours, but then I had a game breaking bug which crashed everything. But I've only played for about six hours into the actual game itself. Um, I got up to a chrysalid mission, I was very angry, chrysalids are painful, um, and my game crashed, and it then corrupted my save files, so I had to start again, I thought, well, it's no better time than the present to start doing a YouTube thing, so I'm going to do it, uh, this is, a uh, Shane at the moment, he's got a hat, because I can't get his actual hair right, and he was a sniper in the last game, so he needed a hat, um, this is John Cena Johnson, um, his actual name was John Johnson, that was his, uh, uh, what's it called, his, uh, default name, and so I gave him the nickname Cena, that was my brother Luke's idea, um, that's Cameron, he's nicknamed Creator, because he's the creator of the series, he bought me the game, and I've still yet to make him lunch, which I will do, eventually, and, uh, that's me, I've got the beard, which I no longer have because work. But, um, 
let's actually do this. As you saw from that intro video, that was um, Command Night Officer Bradford and some other chick you get if you actually play the tutorial. But I can't be bothered playing the tutorial because it's boring. I mean, there's a lot of video that you miss out on, which I can basically fill you in as that you rescue the commander, which is who you are technically. You command the group, you actually rescue him, and then you go on a few other missions, and then you get to this one. So you basically skip a little bit of story, which I really didn't want to do, but I really didn't want to sit through the tutorial again. So there are my reasons. Um, if you dislike that, go watch someone else's tutorial and then come back, I guess. <laughs> it's the only real thing I can say, but um, let's get started. Closing on target position now. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Alright, so people are on the alien side in this one. So you don't want to go into the line of sight of a civilian because they will dob on you and say, There's people here with guns. Let's do this. So basically now that I've seen the first pod of uh not alien well yes, aliens. These guys are hybrids as you find out in the tutorial. Um what else? So this, what I'm in is concealment, which means I get the first shot on the enemies unless I screw up really poorly, which I've done a few times, and also there's been a few bugs where they've seen me through walls, like, not windows, but actual walls, and they've seen me in lines of sights where I can't see them, but apparently they can see me, but I don't know. So I'm going to move up to here. What we're going to do is we're going to do that basic overwatch trap that every YouTuber who did the little beta launch did. Um, who wants to Cam can shoot at their 69. God damn, rookies and your terrible, shitty aim. Um, okay. Shane overwatch, John Cena overwatch, Cam overwatch. I'm going to shoot someone. Probably that guy. He just dropped loot, and um, as you can see, uh, those guys will both die, because it came up saying there's three promotions earned. That's a little thing that I wish didn't show up, but, you know, I, I it's actually, I can see the future, believe it or not. Yeah. So that, that actually worked perfectly, that's exactly how I wanted it to work. So, there we go, now I need to get Cam a kill in this mission to get him a promotion as well. Good copy, moving on target. Alright, so move Cam up, okay. move myself up, and John Cena, you can move up. Moving so, what we need to do is we need to get someone into that yellow square to collect the loot. And loot can be anything from um, like alien alloys to like a weapon upgrade. In this case, it was a scope. Oh, there's advent troopers over there. That's nice, I guess. He does not look very happy. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Uh, okay, John Cena, you Understood. can move here. Because full cover is important, even though these guys can't really aim for shit. <laughs> um, okay. 49, 46, 32. Mm. What to do? Alright. Viking! Shoot at that one. As you can see, those cinematics now no longer mean that it is 100% you know, you are going to hit them. And I didn't actually know that at first, so when the stupid advent trooper showed up, and I could do that, that would destroy cover and give someone a free kill, well, you would hope. So I could give Cam a free kill, which I might do. Put you on Overwatch. John Cena is going to blow that cover. Grenade. 
And now, Cameron, you're not going to miss this shot. 69, 69 is a lucky number, right? That's XCOM, baby. So you're going to mark. Okay, what mark is, if you remember hollow targeting from the original game, it's like two times worse. And he can mark and shoot, which is awesome. So that guy's going to move. Hopefully this will hit. Yay. I really would have preferred to give Cam a kill, but it just does not seem like that's going to happen. This guy's being Rambo. And he's going to miss flank. Sh he's going to miss flank shots, which is great. It always happened to me back in the other game, so I think it's finally deserving. I think. All right. What I need to do is. Um, Cena's got no grenade. Cam has a grenade. Uh, and so does Shane. If I move here, I actually don't know if it'll be a flank on the advent anymore, because they kind of changed the way flanking works. Okay, so my plan will be, if this is not a flank on that guy, I'll throw a grenade at that guy, and then I'll get Shane to move to here, which should be a flank. Okay, it is a flank. 74. Um, Shane, you move. Oh, wait up. I'm on the move. This might have been a really dumb move, but. No, that'll work. This is for you. Ow. I just hit my foot. <laughs> so now, I'll get Cam to shoot him. And it worked. That worked much better than I expected. I expected everyone to die. Area is secure. We're not picking up any I probably shouldn't have said that. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. So in this game, there's more vigilante types of missions. You've got to blow five. shit up. You've got to uh, kidnap people. You've got to do numerous other things like that, like. I love, there's one where you raid supplies from a train, that's cool. Only one person got wounded, which is unfortunate that he got wounded because Advents are lucky bastards and they hit things. Although we didn't actually, so I'm not playing on easy, I think I'm playing on the, I'm uh, playing on the second, second one, I think. Because my, um, the one I played on before was the, the one I played offline, not offline, but not on the YouTube before. Before that, the one where I lost my save file, I um, played on, not impossible, it's not called impossible anymore, it's called legendary, thank you Luke. Um, uh, that's what I was playing on last time, and oh god, it sucked balls, man, like, <laughs> and I'm not going to say this will be easy, because the game, I think, Personally, I think it's harder. So, geez, poor Cameron. Oh, he looks in pain. I also finally gave Cameron his red bandana, which he always wanted. I hope he appreciates that. And he gets to be a specialist, which sucks. I like being the specialist. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll ask Cameron if he wants to be a medic or he wants to be a, um, like, the hacker. Let's see if he survives that long. Because he won't be around for 21 days. So, yeah. Uh, John Cena is our sniper. Sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. His gun is flying through his feet and the floor. I love it. So they start with squad sight, which means 
though. Squad Shot is awesome. I love it. But he can be a gunslinger or a sniper path. I used... My last sniper was Shane over here. He was, um... Ooh, he gets me a ranger. The ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. So, um, last time Shane was the sniper, but I put him down the pistol path, which honestly is so much better. It's, it's great. Um, yeah. And so that would make me our heavy or grenadier. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Oh, so now, before I end this video, I'm going to show everyone what the base is like now. Oh, wait, there's our scope that we got. Alright, so this is the base. Commander, to the, to the research, research lab. lab. Oh, I hate the new voice, it's terrible. This is the research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. So that guy has replaced uh, Dr. Shen. He used to be in Advent, but he basically went rogue from Advent to join us. Uh, what he was talking about, the, um, what is it, the procedure that I currently went through, that was tutorial stuff. I basically was, Commander was in a pod, he was taken out of the pod, but he kind of had like a, he had a thingy in the back of his head, which was doing stuff, I'm not entirely sure what it was doing. <laughs> but, there we go, that's, uh, so, I can now do which one of these should I do, I agree. Weapons, because lasers. Find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. I don't care, Tigan. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. And so that is uh, Shen's daughter, who is nice, I guess. So I'm going to build a med kit and I'm going to build a flashbang grenade. And I didn't build a smoke grenade because I didn't use it. I wonder if this is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. It certainly keeps you on your toes. This is the uh, living quarters where I can see which soldiers we have. So we've got. 
myself, Shane, John Cena Johnson, uh, Cameron, we've got Kylo Ren, my brother, we've got Vaseline, uh, Neil Porter, who is not a special character, and we've got Jeb, Jeb Jackson. So, that is the people we have so far. Um, so, myself, Shane, Cena, Cameron, still in severe pain on the floor, um, Kylo Ren, looking all depressed as shit, uh, Luke, my brother, looking all depressed as shit, uh, Vaseline, who I really hope becomes a sniper, or else it's just kind of useless, um, this guy, and Jeb. That was not the hair I remember Jeb having. <laughs> I might be wrong, but... I'm pretty sure I gave him the ponytail. Because he has the ponytail, I guess. I don't know which one to give him, I really don't. There you go. A lot of, lot of hair, Jeb. Jeb was my ranger in my last playthrough, and he was uh, my best soldier. Which was scary if you look back to my old XCOM where he died immediately. Before my research is complete. So, I think I'll end that. Oh wait, Commander. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything: government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Bradford got old, and I think he took up smoking, like heavy smoking. Like, really heavy smoking. Okay, so... I will end it, and I'll explain the geoscape at the start of the next episode, because... Yeah.